Activision has dropped another doozy. Grandpa Newbie here, reporting for duty with some good news for those of you who have completed five of seven of the week two challenges for season three. The Jack Jawbreaker is going to break some jaws out there. I'm telling you, it is a aftermarket kit for the KV broadside. Remember that weapon? Fantastic. Okay, let's start with the damage. 97 in the head. Torso is 71. Lower torso and upper legs, 65. Now, what does that mean? That means if you get one headshot and a shot anywhere in the upper torso, lower torso, or upper legs, it's going to be a two-shot kill. And that's out to 26.7 meters. That's a 280 millisecond time to kill. And look at the target flinch. 1.5 Newton, so it packs a punch. The Jawbreaker seems to me to be a hybrid between SMG, AR, and Shoddy. We've already mentioned the ranges, but let's take a look at that. 26.7 meters? That's unheard of. Minimum damage rain? 48.3 with a bullet velocity that's not bad. I mean, think about it. It's a shotgun with a bullet velocity of 647.8 meters per second. The fire rate's a little slow, 428.6 rounds per minute. But now again, take a look at the recoil. Almost non-existent in terms of gun kick and horizontal recoil. Vertical recoil is SMG-ish. This isn't going to be a hip fire machine. Horrible hip fire statistics. And the mobility, the mobility is AR-ish. Handling, AR-ish. Maybe a little better in the aim down sight speed than some ARs. Reload quickness, sprint to fire speed, that sort of thing. It is a potential apex predator so let's take a look at it on the field of honor all right we got free for all stash house seems to me it would be the perfect test for the kv jawbreaker kit now this isn't my first time touching it uh, for those of you who watch my week two challenges video i used this gun for the second or the last two challenges and i found that it was awesome it's good at distance it's good up close all you need to do is get one in the head wow <laughs> those people are raining down grenades there somehow i've already got four kills and i'm moving around uh, and i get hoisted on my own petard there killed by my own Proximity mine. Oh, there's somebody there. Purple face or purple clothes, skull face. That guy, uh, he needs some moisturizer. Bring back that skin. So I didn't notice it moving any slower. Maybe it felt like an AR. Oh, excuse me. You should say, excuse me. Oh, there's a knifer. There's another knifer. That's the thing about Stash House. You have a lot of knifers and they are hard to hold off. There's the moisturizer, man. One, two, and I get gacked. I buy the farm. Get my revenge, though. That's a sweet word, according to Shakespeare. Sir, when served cold, I like it hot. I like my revenge hot. Look at that range. There's a long shot. A long shot. And I'm going after that guy with a shotgun, 19, almost 20 meters. Then if I could hit him, the only thing that you need to be wary of, there's a knifer. He better start closer than that because this thing will get him in 280 milliseconds, almost a quarter of a second. And I'm going to empty both of my weapons into that guy. He needs to clean out that garage. It's dirty. My wife wouldn't have it. Grandma Newbie would not have it. Got them both. Aimed high to get that 280 millisecond or a quarter second kill. There's some potential victims. That guy was too fast for me. Oh, gosh. A remote turret. I'm usually above. Oh, that cannot go well there. So I build up a little bit of a lead here. And you can see that 
the jawbreaker is good up close. It's good far away. There's a Snickers win. 30 full points. It's so satisfying. Yeah, it's satisfying. So my favorite map, Shoot House. It's going to be a little bit longer lanes here. So I suspect the long distance ability of this weapon. There we go. Always good to kill Elvis. It's going to come into play. This cannot be good. But he does step on my proximity mine. You find I found myself reloading a lot, and you can't put a bigger magazine in it. It's 20 rounds. I don't know what a 25-round drum would do for you other than give you five more rounds. But I was reloading all the time, and it takes a little while to reload, as you can see. I get gacked. I buy the farm. But I'm not around to plow that farm I just bought because I'm under the sod. Get gacked again. Pretty good bullet velocity, so there's a long... Oh, I missed. I missed. And he totally, totally finesses me. That's embarrassing. So it's neck and neck. Hey, uh, head glitches and free-for-all are not very good. Good bullet velocity, so you can hit a running target sometimes. See that? I go down to, to reload because... Really, you've got one, maybe two. If they're tight, three kills. So, I mean, people were frustrated with me in this free-for-all because I thought I was using just a regular old KV broadside because that's what shows it. Look at that. Look at that shot. 15, almost 16 meters. And somebody else's mosquito drone hits me. That was a 27-meter kill with a shotgun. It's amazing. With nothing special, just the kit. I mean, there are some OG shotguns where you can get a 40-meter kill. I, I did that in a video for Modern Warfare 2. But this thing it puts out bullets. It puts them downrange. Look at there. Another long shot, 24-plus meters. And I manage to pull the other team or the other players back in tight with me. Yeah, I ran out of bullets there. I went through a collage of my deaths, like four deaths in a row. There's another long shot. Little jump shot, a little jumper there. Never hurt anybody but the enemy. Got one more kill. Now, I ego child this guy, and that's where the vertical recoil came into play. Uh, for some reason, my thumb wouldn't hold it down quite far enough. Another long shot for a win, 30-point win. That's a Snickers win, guys. And the, As we watch the kill, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. There we go, 30 kills. It's so sad. Peace.